Hello, my name is Diego Correa of Diego Correa Interior Design. Uh, welcome to my video. We have been talking so far uh, in my previous videos about concepts that we need to take into account and will be ideal or a suggestion to take into account when you are going to be uh, facing the challenge of uh, refurbishing or changing the look and feel of, of, of a space or a house or a flat, whatever. Um, sort of uh, uh, architecture you would like to address. But now we're going to be talking about particularities, uh, elements that are present in that space and that having a good uh, understanding of them can help us to change dramatically the, the sense of, of that space, the perception of that space. So today we're going to be talking about color. Uh, and what color? Because um, Particularly, uh, I think that color is probably the element that can allow us to change dramatically the feel of a space, the feel and look, excuse me, of, uh, of a space in a very, very important way. And you, you don't need to, to, to invest uh, a lot of uh, resources achieving a very, very important outcome. So today, we're going to be talking about to scenarios and uh, how to approach uh, the use of colors um, is a kind of uh, a small tips that can can help you to can guide you through the process. So let's imagine two two scenarios. As I said, the first one where the room is totally empty, so you want to change that room completely, uh, and the second scenario is you have already a furnished room, so you have all the furniture. You have probably already the curtains, but you have the rock, and you just want to change the look of that space. Let's start for the first one. So the room is empty. You don't have anything there. You have ideas in your mind, but you would like to start thinking, okay, what I would like to feel when I am in that space? That is the first step that I would recommend you to, to, to think about. Do you want to feel... Uh, a sort of very elegant environment there? Would you like to feel a, a kind of funky space? Would you like to feel a kind of uh, playful space? So once you decide what adjective, what feel you would like to, to enjoy once that space is finished, then you move to the second step. And the second step is Okay, take time, use a tool like this, a color chart, right? And you decide, okay, what colors represent for me or that field that I am trying to achieve? So if for you, elegance is related to white and black, or white and golden, or golden and black, or those sort of combination. You can use, I would suggest you to start using just one or two colors a maximum. So you decide, okay, for me, elegance is golden color. That is for me what elegance means in terms of color, of course. Then the third step then is, okay, I got golden as the first color. What other colors can I choose that being with that color help me to enhance or to frame that color? In this way, what you are doing is creating a color scheme that is going to help you to take the decisions not just in terms of the space, but in terms of what color the furniture, rocks, fabrics, curtains, etc. have to have to be. Uh, because you know in that way everything is going to look very harmonious and the outcome is going to be what you imagine, what you expected. So I, I resume first fill, then color that you associate with that fill, and then another colors that help that color to to breathe. To be so in that way you have 
the, the, the full spectrum, the full scheme for you to play with. Now, what happens if the, if the room is furnished already? I would suggest have a look of all the pieces that are in that room is the first step. Are they greens, browns, whites, yellows, reds? What are the colors? There is two options here that you can move forward. The first one is okay, you have a lot of colors, so you're a bit confused and you don't want which color would suit that, uh, which suits that, that space. So I would suggest go to the neutral color. Please, no magnolia. That color is absolutely horrible. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, but I really dislike that. That color is, 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 is a kind of horrible laziness when you choose that, that color. It's, it's, it's a very appalling one. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's move on. So you choose a neutral one, a neutral one that allow all those objects to be comfortable with. So you can choose uh, a very pale uh, beige or a very pale gray or a very pale green. It depends on the predominance of the color you can play with that neutral, neutral one. Um, color charts like little green or far one ball can give you some nice ideas of what colors to choose. If you go to the top of the charts, you always are going to find light colors that can help you to take the decision that you want. Uh, remember that there are colors that are more uh, warmer than others and that is something that as well you need to decide, but let's leave that for now and let's just think about a neutral color that brings everything together. If you want to move one step ahead of this, and the space to look more integrated with the furniture that you have, pick one color, the color that you like the most of all the pieces that you have in that room, and move two or three chairs down or up, depending on what your tastes are. So in that way, all the space is going to look more like in harmony, more integrated, so I would suggest this second option, I, I tend to prefer the second option because that makes the space works as a whole. Somehow you find more harmony in that. So I, I really hope that those uh, tips can, can give you some, some light how to use color. Um, I've got an idea, if you would like to, to try that with me, and is uh, because the space of time is limited in these videos. If you would like me to talk about more about color and go in a more uh, deep uh, analysis of how to use it, please, uh, if I receive more than 20 clicks uh, by Sunday, the next week, uh, we're talking about uh, today's Tuesday, so we're talking about by Sunday, uh, then uh, I can talk more about color. If not, uh, because you don't, you don't like that, or it's not a time, or whatever the reason is, I can move to the next, to the next concept. So I would like you uh, as well to have a say in what you would like me to share, to share with you. So thank you very much for, for being here. Thank you very much for sharing your time with me. If you would like to talk to me about this subject or the other ones that you are interested in, please call me to my mobile 0755 or as usual, please go to my website. You're going to find my email there, www.digocoreainteriordesign.com. Thank you very much again for sharing your time with me and looking forward to see you next time.